Wow. Craig, you know, as, as someone who grew up across the country, away from here, I've, of course, I've heard of Mount St. Helens, but learning these stories, the people that were lost, mm -hmm. it's just incredible to, to learn about this, this history in our, in our state. Yeah, it's incredible and to think that it's still so dangerous. You're talking mm -hmm. about it as well. I remember growing up in Santa Fe, New Mexico and being glued to the television. And I think that might have been what sparked my interest in journalism way back when. I used to watch national news all the time. Oh, and I wow. remember watching that closely. Oh, gosh, what a, what a story, right? And we love right. hearing these stories, like you said. It's great pictures as well. Vanessa, yeah. good evening. We've got some sunshine for you tomorrow, though, a little bit. <laughs> and for everyone else, of course. I uh, hope you're having a great Saturday, a little rainy at times, and a lot of showers today. I want to get started with the shot from Salty's on Alki, West Seattle, looking back toward downtown Seattle. Gorgeous um, view. Uh, you know, a lot of us like the rain, so a lot of us like this. And if you like the sunshine, we've got some of it for you tomorrow. Rainfall totals so far about half an inch. Quill you, you've got about two tenths of an inch Shelton or so. Most spots about a tenth of an inch or less. Of course, the rain is going to pick up. And look at this great shot. Rob Robert uh, Shield Photography got this shot. Yeah, it is time. Wasp season. You've got some bees out there as well. I've noticed a lot of them uh, doing their job. All right, so current temperatures, upper 50s and low 60s. We will manage some mid-60s tomorrow. Look at Wilbur. Hey, Wilbur spent the day at Barrymore Dog Park uh, having a good time in the back seat. You can tell this is right after his fun day. He's smiling. Tomorrow, 9 a.m., a chance for showers. This is Pause Moment with Craig. By 3 o'clock, I think we've got some sun breaks for you for a good part of the afternoon as another piece of energy energy rotates around this system moving our direction and uh, we could still see a few isolated thunderstorms especially tomorrow with some daytime heating. What you're looking at is a two-hour loop and some of the heavier rain now coming onto the coast getting closer to Raymond, Aberdeen, Tulips all the way up to Nia Bay of course Sporks, Port Angeles that is the front coming through so instead of showers we're going to start to see more in the way of some rain a nice steady rain at times through the overnight hours till about midnight. A bit of a break right over parts of the South Sound but stand by you've got a lot of energy energy just off the coast. By 8 o'clock, a lot of that will move right over us. And you can see this is the back side of the front now. And then by 1130, there's another piece of energy coming through and those shades of yellow, some moderate to heavy downpours. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock, just a few spotty showers. So I'm going to call it spotty showers. Then you don't see a whole lot in the way of cloud cover by 1 o'clock, but you do see a few isolated showers. Perhaps this is when we could see a couple of isolated thunderstorms as well. 5 o'clock, plenty of sunshine. So yeah, a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. Not bad at all, especially after today's nice soaking. It'll nice way for it to go right back into the ground. As we go through Monday, we'll start off dry by the afternoon, a few spotty showers again, and then the clouds thicken up and we'll continue to see that trend into next week as well. Highs tomorrow will stay mostly with mid 60s, very close to average for this time of year. Here's your seven day forecast. I do have a lightning bolt on there tomorrow, just in case we see a few of those isolated thunderstorms as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, it's a springtime pattern, a little bit of rain, a little bit of sunshine. Next Friday, once again, looks like the, by the end of the week, we've got plenty of sunshine for you. Temperatures back up into the mid 60s. Not all bad, though. So tomorrow, pretty good. A lot of fun. Enjoy the sunshine tomorrow. Vanessa, back to you. Love those sun breaks, Craig. Thank you.